here. Well, today is the last day of April and I thought I would bring together a couple things that I've really enjoyed this month and show you guys. So to begin with, I've got one skincare item and that is my rosehip oil. I think it's coming into winter now and my skin has just been very dry. So I've been kind of using this as an overnight treatment. So I just put five drops of this oil on my face and just rub it in like a normal moisturizer and it treats my face while I sleep. Don't use it during the day because I do find it's a little bit too oily. I have a couple of beauty items and the first one is a eye palette that I've been using quite a bit. This one is the Sleek Au Natural 601 palette and this one just has a lot of really neutral colors in it. I like to use this dark brown here for my eyebrows and also a little little bit of the black color for the ends of my eyebrows just to darken it up a little bit and create more of a gradient. I've been just doing for everyday looks just having a bit of this apricot color and sweeping it all over the lid. This month I've been super into my contour and highlight game. I don't know if you can tell but contouring has become my thing and what I've been loving for contour and highlight is this palette again from Sleek. I think I got all of these Sleek products from a website called Luxola. The prices are really good and they have a lot of Sleek products. My contour palette is in the shade Light. This contour is awesome. It's like such a neutral shade. It's not too warm. And for my highlighter, oh my god, it's such a beautiful like champagne pink. And with the highlighter, I like to put it um, on top of my cheekbones. And also, I've been getting into like putting it under my brow bone. I don't know. I never thought it made much of a difference, but I think it looks really good. This blush here, I don't really use. It's just got way too much shimmer in it, and I feel like it overwhelms the actual color of the blush. But the blush I am using literally every day and I don't think I will stray from for a long time is this orange one which is in another sleek palette. I know I've been like obsessed with all my sleek palettes lately but they're just doing the job very well. The orange complements my blue hair so well and so I've been loving like orange cosmetics for my face. This is a blush by 3 palette in the shade Lace. The last makeup item that I've got is one lipstick. This one is by Astralis. It's from their Velour Lips range. It's a dark red shade with goldy pink shimmer bits in it. It's from their limited edition AC Me Metallic range. So if you go out now, you can probably still get it, but I don't know, no guarantees. <laughs> this one here is in the color Grandmaster Pash. So in terms of accessories, I've got these sunnies here. These are my favorite. I love them because again, they're reflective and people can't see where I'm looking and that's kind of key component of why I wear sunglasses in the first place. These ones here are from Beginning Boutique. So for fashion, I've got a beautiful forest green set of like a crop top and a midi skirt. I got them from a boutique called Little JC in Garden City, but I've honestly been digging midi skirts so much. I think they're so flattering and I've like collected quite a few over the last couple of months. And because it's been getting cold, I've been wearing this sweater here like so much because it's got fleece on the inside. It's so comfortable and so warm. So I've been loving the sweater that I got in Laos when I was in Southeast Asia. It's my favorite sweater ever. I think everybody needs an oversized baggy sweater. I've also been wearing my black ripped jeans all the time. They're from Topshop and they weren't originally ripped but I had them for ages and they started becoming really baggy in the knee area, a little bit in the crotch area as well. And so I was like, oh, I kind of need to distract from that. So I just cut four massive slits in it. And now people don't even notice. Well, I don't even notice that it's kind of baggy in places where you don't want it to be baggy. But I think I've saved my jeans and I will get like an eternity of wear out of them. An accessory that has just like dominated all of my outfits is my gold chain. Yeah. I don't know, it just makes me feel really badass. Like every time I wear it, I feel like I should be in a hip hop music video and I kind of love that. This is from The Visa as well. I have two TV show favorites this month. The first one, I finished the whole season in two days because it literally drove me insane. And that is Attack on Titan. It's a Japanese anime. It's about a post-apocalyptic world where 
humans are terrorized by these beings called titans, like kind of human looking giants who only feed on human flesh. And humans have, have had to hide in these huge walls to try and get away from the titans. Oh my god, can I just say that like I was hooked after the first episode. It was so intense and like my heart was thumping the whole time. And when you watch episode 5, let me know if you actually shit yourself. After I finished that TV show, I needed to watch something light because it broke me emotionally. So I started watching Bob's Burgers. I'd seen it before but only like random episodes. But now I've started from the start and I've watched I think four seasons now and like yeah. Tina is my spirit animal she's like really fucking annoying but hilarious so some of the music that I've been really into this month include Freddie Gibbs okay quick story here Freddie Gibbs followed me on Instagram and I think I just broke down and like was screaming in my house but um Freddie Gibbs actually dropped two singles I think recently that have just been on replay on my iPod. The first song is called My Dope House. It's produced by Kei Trinata. I've been on the hunt for some bangers and this has really filled that void for me. The second track is one that he dropped the music video last week and it's called Pronto. Of course, I can't make a music favorite without mentioning Kendrick Lamar's new album, To Pimp a Butterfly. My favorite tracks include These Walls, King Kunta, and also the second half of the song You. You Ain't Gotta Laugh. I feel like I've just named all of the tracks, but honestly, it's a really good album. It took me a good couple of listens to really get into it, but now it's become one of my favorite albums, and it's just so easy to listen to over and over again. It's not one of those albums that you kind of like love at first, but then you get sick of like pretty much a month later. It's one of those albums that you grow to love more and more the more you listen to it. All right, so I believe that sums up my favorites for April. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Broke my lonely streak, and you. Yeah.